titties, titties, titties. What would really turn me on is you wearing clown face. Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, Happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah, sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard. Office, East LS, at approximately 15:30. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group, from the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime, but not now. When Fernando was in class, he would look at the teacher and think, hmm, I would like to bend her over while she write algebra equation on the chalkboard. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Horrible things. Well, Trevor, we as how are you doing? Uh, well, uh, I like clockwork. 
clockwork, Mikey. Like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I could help you with. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he... But he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. How do you talk to Mike about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. It's a place too boring for plants. It's the Grand Sonoran Desert. Come live. There's nothing there. Your number one station for news, talk, and farm reports. Blaine County Radio. Beyond Insemination, the show hosted by three-time regional amateur speedophile personal watercraft racing champion and... Thirteen thirty. We're an hour down, two to go. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. But what those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on... Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want them jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. And it's never been hit. Man. Those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Be in the top. 
tunnel. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. Now, go around. Meet them at the other end. I was hoping they'd come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in, you come out. seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. And take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! How you feeling about this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? Well, there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't. Ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dog. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. You get flustered when you get sweaty. So, uh, providing either of these ways into the bank works, the armored cars are the big hole in the ground. How are we gonna get the metal out? That's the 20% of $200 million question. If the armored cars are a viable option, we'll bring out the gold in them. Simple. You won't even have to fire a shot if everything goes to plan. When does everything go to plan? If it's ever going to, this is the time. Sounds hopeful to me. You got a backup plan? We can modify this chopper to carry the weight, but we need another one to match. Easy enough to get. If we're using it for the job, would you consider taking your name off the side? You think I'm taking down the Union Depository in anything other than a chopper with my name on it? Well, then you don't know me, bro. I thought you'd say that. Robin sneezes or a pair of coughs? No, I do not. I'm 
I'm not a veterinarian. The maladies of animals are irrelevant to me. People raised a stink about swine flu, saying it was gonna ruin the bacon. That barbecue tastes just fine to me. Let's move to the final portion of our show, Romantic Interludes with Big Dwayne, where I call a previous love interest live on it. Today, I'll be calling Marnie Smith. We got two ideas. It's gonna take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right, I'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder. He's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. Hello? Hello, Marty. This is Dwayne Earl. And as you can tell by the melodic and poignant music playing in the background, I am about to unleash a barrage of emotion that has been trapped inside of me for these past 20 years. Oh. 